Welcome back, my comrades. I am Victor Barisov, and today we're continuing this weird little marathon of, um, well, not marathon, just different demos, basically, because it's the Steam Summer Fest, and it's about to end very, very soon, and we're going to do this one. I've tried to play a few others and record a few others, and they were so buggy, I just couldn't bear myself to continue playing them. They were good games, but they need a lot of work to be fixed on them first. Hopefully, this one... I can record and get up, but I won't know until I start. By the way, this one is They Are Here, Alien Abduction Horror Game. I do like my horrors now and then, guys, as you know. So, we're going to just jump straight into this and see what happens. Let me just check. NVIDIA Broadcast working. NVIDIA Recorder's working. Task Manager. CPU is fine. Memory is fine. Disk is fine. GPU. Is it 100 again? Hopefully I don't crash. Audacity seems to be recording, and my voice seems fine. Let's see if this works, guys, because we know what my audacity can be like. It can make me sound like a robot. Unexplained phenomena occur at Gray's Woods Farm on the night of August the 7th. The Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky. Fink moved at the breathneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in random directions and different speeds. While they vanished, this strange behavior in the sky was observed by... So at the same time, each night for five nights, according to the owner of the farm, the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him and bit him. Children complained that someone was walking under under their windows. Far Pierre Sherman himself in the field saw a strange hair that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate depiction, drawing attention to oneself, or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Ty Fox trans screens would farm to take a photo and make a report for the local newspaper. Okay, so we're a reporter. This is gonna go good. Because everybody thinks aliens are hoaxes, but to be truthful, guys, I don't know if aliens are real or not. Aliens are possibly real because we don't know if there's any other life on other planets. We only know of life on Earth. And there's a billion, billion planets out there, so we'll soon find out one day if there is life or not. Seven news. Okay, can I? All right, we've got the Q keys. All right, we can do that. Okay. Okay, we can't go to the back of the van. Just check everything out. There's some bright ass headlights. Jesus. And the graphics look a bit weird. There's the lights. Weird. Three lights. Someone's garbage. Oh great, a cornfield. Do we not have a, do we not bring a torch? I know there's lights in the rest, but hold on, we should really bring a torch. Hello? Anyone in that cornfield come out now? I'm not afraid to bite you with my bare fists. I'm sure this farmer's got a shotgun he can shoot you with. Ah, right, it's Tommy up there, I was going to say. Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our door went missing. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. we we'll leave this note for you and the police in case we pass each other. But be careful. I'm making notes. Hello? Nothing else we can inspect about it. Hey, it's unplugged, look! Alright then. We should just hang up. They are here. Mystery sky objects seen. Only to have information about UFOs and crop circles. That has been seen throughout the state. Down to. Ha! Oh, crop circle mystery. Strange. I can't reread really some of that, right? Maybe you can. Okay. He's left milk, pizza, and a can out. Hello? That's gotta be annoying and driven faucet. Don't know why we're going upstairs to such a person's poor house. With blue lights, of course, aliens. Who 
It's bedroom. Right, we'll check that out in a second. Shutters. Alright, is this the fuse box? Yeah, it is. Right. Water pipe. Must be annoying if you have a leak and you have to wake your kid up. Ah. What size drawer was made by the missing door? Farthest the left is a pin on both sides. Oh! The, ooh. Okay, that's pretty dark and creepy. The alien killed the dog. Farmer's note. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise when I came. She went in her bed and the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. I wasn't in her bed. Property of Megan. What's the sea water? Apparently it belongs to the missing girl. If you listen closely, you can hear a very strange sound. She was at one of these windows when she seen the dog get killed. Poor dog. Ball from the internet, perhaps PSM saw something similar, that looks creepy. Oh yeah, these are like the Area 51 images, aren't they? Might as well just check them all out. Ooh, creepy wooded monster. So it just says the same all from online, okay. How do we know aliens do look like this though? That's my question, they could look like anything. Bell coffee. There's no note from them. We'll check that note in a minute. Found my old diary. How could I forget that? Still, I found my old diary from when I was 15 years old. How could I forget that? The diary text today was the most exciting, scariest day of my life. I saw aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I, I was fishing for an, for a band and pee on the river. Suddenly, I was. Defined by a roar coming from behind, I turn around very loud above the huge disc with the flashing lights on the way I was hovering. I felt a punch then seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as I, as if in zero gravity, everything around me became blinding bright. I seemed to look closely. I remember seeing the aliens with grey skin and big eyes. I was placed on tail as if I was welded to it. They were stank of me seemed to me they communicated with each other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't wear anything else. I woke up on the pier later in the evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing. I walked home as if I'm daydreaming. When I got there I found several cuts on my body and two small, very small holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. Strange. Damn, these aliens are horrible, aren't they? I learned about these things, they are called the Greys. They are not low green men, but big, creepy, dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be described in the following way. Large head, depending to the body, no hair, bottomless black eyes, grey skin, long limbs, and sharp claws. Their voices are like nothing. These aliens very aggressive towards people. It all started with bright lights in the sky near the home, which moved along a certain way then people started to have a nosebleed having several headaches and buzz in their ears animals started raging next to people start to memory lapse periods when they didn't remember anything when they come back to normal they find themselves in an unexpected place for example another field on the road a few kilometers away from home some flashbacks of terrible memories people remember terrifying experiences the aliens such control over their mind this affects their psyche and also found their marks on the body indication to be an exact germ. It felt like sunk back like a forgotten object moving under the skin. 
Okay, so I destroyed the lights. I don't even see any lights in here though. There is a handprint on the screen though. But yeah. Go in that girl's room in a minute. I'm just trying to see if I can use this fuse box. Do I really want to go into this room? Jawa's strange device. In the note, Pierce claims that he cut out an alien implant from behind his ear. Oh, it does look like an implant. I'm barely make it out what it is. Let's wait till the thingy loads up then, shall we? As a child, headaches began to bother me. They tortured me to this day. Went to Jarvis does the time, but no one could explain the reason for the current and recently. Strange, unpleasant, tingling sensation in the back of my head. Started as well now, I understand why the doors could not turn the closet. Then a simple abduction. I remember the alien abduction when I found my own time. It was the migraines, then the cuts that I noticed behind the ears when I trace of them. They show the implanted something in me, some kind of transmitter to imply. Because of this, I've got everything. I definitely decided that I'm not crazy. Yeah, you don't sound crazy, dude. If there's an alien device there, let's go. Yeah, guys, I do think that we do have some sort of other life form. I'm not sure what yet, but it could be anything. Blade fingerprint all over it and the rest. I know a book, it's got some good books like lying around. Okay, I hear the TV static. Let me just keep the torch on, buddy, just in case someone comes out. Okay, some old alien flick movie. That's all supposed to be. Big grey people. My blooming ass. Okay. Well, 
Oh, anyone out there? Just nick my car. <laughs> yep, get it and go. Oh really, your car's gonna die of course. That's a UFO. Do you have a gun or something? Can you not get it? Yeah. Oh great, red lights is never good. Red lights is never good. Do we have a gun? <laughs> okay, my door was just ripped open. I was grabbed by the throat and dragged out. I'm assuming I've been killed or probed. One or two. That was the demo, guys. 20 minute demo. Not bad. In the full game, you'll find the large territory of Grey Farm and the full story of the introduction and the game. To yours wish list you don't miss a discount release add to wish list I already have quick so uh okay I'll bring me back there AFK screen up so that was a good one guys I really like that I think when that game comes out I am going to play in the full game when it does come out guys if you enjoyed that give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down if you have any questions at all put them in the comments below and thank you Again for joining me on this journey of the demos guys. But until next time, I am Victor Barisov signing off until next time guys. Bye.